A few years back, owning a smartphone felt like a distant dream. Fast forward to today, and it's hard to find someone without one. In fact, there are now more smartphones than people on the planet, each packed with heavy and rare metals crucial to their operation. From the lithium in their batteries to the rare metals scattered throughout the device. These materials are the unsung heroes powering our digital lives. But here's the catch. Recycling these metals isn't a walk in the park. For many companies and countries, it's not even a viable option. This reality has turned the billions of smartphones into a goldmine for some and a massive headache for others. Remember the days when phone batteries would drain in no time and needed constant replacing? Enter lithium batteries, a game changer for smartphones. These batteries are now standard in the latest devices, thanks to their unique chemical makeup that includes, you guessed it, lithium. This toxic metal, among others, helps store and manage energy efficiently. Lithium batteries offer several advantages, making them perfect for modern devices. One standout feature is their fast charging capability. Imagine plugging in your phone and seeing it jump to over 80% in just minutes. That's lithium magic at work. These batteries can move and store energy swiftly, allowing for quick charges and extended battery life. So the next time your phone charges in a flash, you know who to thank. The charging is a breeze with lithium thanks to its exceptional energy management. Unlike traditional batteries, lithium charges in cycles, extending the battery life significantly. Completing a cycle means using 100% of the battery, which then needs to be discharged before recharging. This process can take several days, with each complete cycle slightly reducing the battery's lifespan. Lithium batteries retain more energy even as they age. So, why is lithium so popular? Lithium batteries are a favorite for many reasons. They are affordable, efficient, and require minimal maintenance. Compared to nickel-cadmium batteries, lithium can store twice as much energy. They are also safer, capable of handling higher temperatures, and offer a higher charge, allowing you to make the most of your energy throughout the day. While the benefits of lithium batteries are clear, there are some drawbacks to consider. Each lithium battery comes with protection circuits to prevent dangerous discharges and overheating, which can reach extremely high levels. Unfortunately, many manufacturers do not disclose potential issues related to these batteries. One of the biggest downsides is their durability, with some lasting only a year with minimal use. Additionally, the environmental impact of disposing of lithium batteries is a growing concern. So, how can you turn trash into treasure? It might sound crazy, but turning waste into profit is more than possible, especially in underdeveloped countries. While most companies ignore the potential in recycling their electronics, savvy individuals and small enterprises are cashing in on the e-waste crisis. Here's the deal. Tech companies churn out new gadgets at lightning speed, often making them less durable than their predecessors. This strategy leads to a massive pileup of discarded devices, creating a goldmine, literally, for those willing to dig through the trash. Imagine this, heaps of electronics tossed into landfills, teeming with precious metals like gold, silver, copper, and palladium. Third-party scavengers brave the hazardous conditions to extract these valuable components. While the work is grueling and far from safe, it's the closest thing we have to recycling on a large scale. But why aren't big tech companies leading the charge in recycling? The answer lies in the consumer behavior and the high cost of recycling facilities. Very few companies have robust recycling policies, preferring instead to let others handle the dirty work. This leaves the task to treasure hunters and small-scale operations, particularly in countries like India, where people can make a living sifting through e-waste. However, this comes with significant consequences. To truly tackle this issue, a major shift in consumer habits and corporate responsibility is needed. Until then, the treasure hunt continues, with enterprising individuals churning profit in what others see as waste. Okay, let's dig deeper and take a journey into the world of e-waste, an unseen problem with a colossal impact. Remember those scavengers we mentioned earlier? Well, 
They're burning old electronics in search of precious metals. The scene might seem chaotic, but the real chaos lies in the environmental havoc it wreaks. Open air burning isn't just a local problem, it's a global catastrophe. Each fire, each plume of toxic smoke, contributes to massive environmental crises. Imagine towering landfills packed with discarded gadgets, where the number of companies capable of processing this tidal wave of e-waste is frustratingly small. India alone recycles 1.5 million metric tons of e-waste annually, a figure that doubles what the US manages. Yet despite these efforts, the problem keeps growing. Countries worldwide export more discarded tech than they can handle, turning this issue into a ticking public health time bomb. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Countries accepting these e-way shipments often do so for the cash, but the money quickly evaporates as they grapple with long-term consequences. Chemicals, plastic, and toxic residues leach into the soil and water, transforming once safe areas into hazardous zones. Nearby populations become unwitting victims, suffering from the pollution caused by others' electronic cast-offs. So, what can we do about it? Enter the new wave of recycling policies urging us to part with our old devices more responsibly. Big players like Apple are stepping up, creating a closed loop system where old devices get recycled within the same company. This means fewer toxic materials and heavy metals escaping into the environment, and companies saving money by reusing raw materials. Another intriguing approach is refurbishing. Old devices once destined for the scrap heap get a second lease on life in other markets. It's not the perfect solution, but it meets a demand. Companies restore these gadgets to full functionality, ensuring they last before reselling them. If they can't be fully revived, their components help repair other devices or create new ones. Now, let's talk about the heart of these devices, lithium batteries. These little powerhouses are indispensable, making our smartphone, laptops, and portable gadgets possible. They are incredibly efficient, meeting our daily needs on power on the go. But here's the catch. Despite their efficiency, lithium batteries pose serious environmental risks if not disposed of properly. Think about it. Billions of phones powered by lithium batteries. They're the best option out there, but they come with a heavy price. The rare metals within these batteries are both valuable and hazardous as we've discussed. Understanding the impact of improper disposal is crucial for us as consumers. We need to push for better practices, from recycling to innovative disposable methods, to ensure we don't sacrifice our planet's health for the sake of scrolling. In a nutshell, e-waste is a hidden giant with far-reaching consequences, but with responsible actions, innovative recycling, and a keen eye on sustainable practices, we can turn this looming disaster into an opportunity for a cleaner, greener future. E-waste is a massive challenge, but with responsible recycling and innovative solutions, we can turn the tide. How can you contribute to a more sustainable future with your old devices? Be sure to let us know in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more insights on making a positive impact.